what's up, everybody? It's Rick, and welcome back to RimWorld. Last episode, we built a bunch of windmills. Turns out there's no wind at the moment. Isn't that just the way? And between last episode and this episode, I managed to get the walls finished. So we've got the insulated walls, and I did a little bit of rearranging on our power grid. So you can see now that I've got two grids, basically. So I've got a switch here. So this grid back here is connected to these hydroponic beds. It's connected to uh, these hydroponic beds. And then I've got this grid here, which actually has about half of the hydroponic beds in this room, as well as the heaters going as well. So basically I can grow some food, just enough food to keep my people fed, but I don't have to keep all of the hydroponic beds going and sucking up all of the energy. So that's helpful. In addition to that, one of you guys reminded me, it's been so long since I played this game, I totally forgot, that I can set areas. So what I've done is I've changed our home zone to just being inside the walls here. And now I'm just going to assign my people to stay inside the home, with the exception of Josie. Since she's our miner, she can go outside. And you know what? Gil can go outside as well to go get blocks and whatnot. And that's the way that's going to go. So as far as this episode goes, hopefully we'll get through uh, December, this episode, the very, very cold times, and hopefully we'll start to get some wind here soon because power's going to be a bit of an issue if I don't. So Josie is a little bit upset. Josie's hard to please, and her room is actually pretty small. I need to get a better area for Josie. And you know what? We have this area back here, which is actually a decent temperature, all this negative space back here. I can totally move my storage area back to here and then utilize this space to make my bedrooms bigger and better. And I think that's what we're gonna focus on today. Just trying to make my people happy in the dead of winter. So let's go ahead and I'm going to copy these settings and just paste the settings over here. And then I'm just gonna delete this zone. There we go. Have everybody haul this stuff over. I believe that I told people to stop hauling a while ago. I'm gonna go ahead and put them all back on haul, have them do that stuff. And there we go, Yulian, he's our new grower. Josie, cooking food, perfect. And now we just need some people to haul this stuff over to our new storage area. And we'll just expand this here. We also need somebody to start cleaning too because there's vomit all over the place. And Yulian just snapped. Yulian's gonna go hide in their room. That's okay, Yulian, go ahead, hide in your room. This is Yulian's room, by the way, which is kind of sad. Everybody just, I can see why Yulian's upset though, because everyone's just hanging out in Yulian's room all the time. You know what I mean? I, I guess I would be upset too. It, it makes perfect sense. So all this stuff, I should just make it haul urgently. Let's get all this stuff hauled. There you go, thanks everybody. Yeah, get this stuff out of here, please. Get this in the new storage area. Everybody, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you know what, the dog bed actually. I just realized I haven't moved my dog bed. We're gonna need to move the dog bed. Do my little dog sleeping spot. We'll make the dog sleeping spot there for now. Now that this stuff is being moved, we can actually start to deconstruct these walls here. There we go. And perfect, put all that stuff right over there. You know what, I'm gonna put the food over here. We're gonna store all of the, okay, we're already already storing raw food over there, perfect. I wanna make sure that we're not storing raw food here though. Uh, no, let's not store raw, raw food. We're gonna store raw food over here. And are we not storing meals there? Oh, that's right, because it's not cold enough. Um, what I did do though, was I installed a mod. I installed uh, the refrigerator mod, which I love. Okay. Wait, a wall single? So this can go inside the wall, interesting. Okay, I installed the refrigerator mod. I'm gonna put it there and I'm going to put our food right in there. Let's check in with Yulian's needs. Recreation starved, says Yulian. I don't know what you want. You guys got uh, chess and you guys got horseshoes. I mean, that's pretty sweet if you ask me. I feel like that's pretty, pretty awesome. Some people would kill to have that much recreation, you know? Yulian, you're just so picky. So, so picky, Yulian. Okay, is anybody gonna destruct, uh, deconstruct this anytime soon? Because that would be pretty cool if you did, you know? Just deconstruct that. I would much appreciate. 
Josie's making that refrigerator perfect. Food should already be stored in there. Meals should already be stored in there. Perfect. All right. Awesome. 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 There you go, Josie. Deconstruct this for me, would you? And then we'll expand these bedrooms. We'll make these bedrooms so friggin' awesome. So awesome. It looks like Yulian and Mal and Gil are sharing a bedroom right now, but that, I assure you, is temporary. We've expanded the bedrooms out all the way out here, and then we've moved the horseshoes over to here. We've still got chess over here. A rare thrombos is in the area. I am not even ready to start to try to tame that guy. And... Okay, so I'm gonna put probably the master bedroom over here, you know? Do a real nice bedroom over there, and then probably two bedrooms over here. We'll make it nice for them. Let's go ahead and put in some walls. I'm gonna do like this and like this, and then, you know, I'm going to take a door, and I'm gonna slap a door down right there. We're gonna need some tables for them to dine at, too, so we're gonna put some tables in there. Once we build this, we're gonna need some lights. So let's slap some lights on the walls. It's a pretty big room. So we're gonna need a couple of lights, and it's gonna need to be on a different power grid than this other power grid, right? So we're going to want to build some new lines going over this way. I'll do like this, and like this, and like this. There we go, perfect. Do I have enough steel for that? I have 305 steel. We're doing fine as far as steel goes. This should make everybody a lot happier. And geothermal power has been researched. Yes. All right. What are we going to research next? Let's go ahead and pause things real quick. Awesome. Now we can start to work on geothermal power. That's going to be huge for us. What do we need next? I can do soil enhancement, actually, which will allow us to start making soil. Making soil will be huge for us. Huge for us. So I'm definitely going to do that. If we can essentially make like a greenhouse and just grow crops, that'll be pretty radical. Basically, I can grow food without needing to use all of this energy to do it. But we'll have to make the soil out of stones. Basically, what you do is you take stones, you break them down into gravel, you take that gravel, you break them down into other things, and it looks like a refugee wants to join Chiltopia, coming from the covenant of Toxnyoka. I am not going to offer them safety, okay? I'm gonna ignore the message. We aren't quite ready to take on our fifth colonist just yet, but you know, maybe soon. Maybe once we get these rooms figured out, maybe once we're past December, we get out of the winter, we can actually get outside, expand our building a little bit, make more space for more bedrooms, then we'll be a little bit better prepared for that kind of stuff. I'm gonna need to reconnect you. There we go. Now we've got plenty of light for this new bedroom. I'm gonna uninstall their bed and reinstall over here. Let's go ahead and put their bed back here. There we go. So now I'm going to get some furniture going for them. Like a dresser? Let's see, we're gonna do a granite dresser. Where are we gonna put this dresser? How about we put this dresser right here, right by the bed. We're gonna do some nightstands, some end tables, if you will. I'm gonna do a couple of those. Make sure they're facing the right way. Is that the right way? That's the right way, there we go. Do it like that. We're gonna need tables for them to eat at, right? Everybody wants tables to eat at. That's what keeps them happy. So where is the table, 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 table? Where's table? Why am I, I'm, I'm passing table, I'm sure. Rack, long rack, strong box, table, ha <laughs> ha. Here we go, make a granite table, slap you down there, and you know what really just blows people's minds? Lights, everybody loves lights. Let's make some stools though. I'm gonna make some granite stools. Everything is granite for us. We're not taking anything for granite. Ah, get it? Ah, that was bad. I know, I know. There we go, put a couple plants in there. That's really gonna blow Gil and Mal's minds. They're gonna love this new bedroom. And then we're going to split the difference here and make this bedroom nice and big. I'm gonna need to bump this door down a little bit and we've got a nice Aurora there, making people happy. People love Auroras. A transport crash pod, say what? Jump to location, okay, it's, uh, it's a bad person. Who is this? It is Ashley Princess Lejeune, a starship janitor from the Northeast Andes. 
Slowpoke T Tortler, depressive. I do not need a depressive person in my group. Not that I could have them join. I would need to rest them if I wanted them to, but that is not going to happen. Not in a million years. No, no, no. I don't think so. Thank you very much. I'm going to reconnect you because this wire is running across the floor, and that's just really unsightly. There we go. Reconnect you. Didn't like that unsightly wire there. Stinking up the joint. Okay, so once Josie's done making this amazing bedroom... Wait a minute. Did I not move this bed? I didn't. I thought I moved the bed. Did I deconstruct it? I could have sworn I hit reinstall, but I guess I didn't. Oh, jeez. Ooh, there's a party. Gil's throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain social energy. Fantastic. Yeah, we need, we need something to cheer everybody up, you know? Something to really put a smile on everybody's face. Once we're done making all of the bedrooms, I'm gonna make a corridor here so that all the cold isn't being let in and all the heat's not being let out anytime somebody le leaves, you know? Because that's, that's a big bummer. And I should probably just get rid of this door. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a good idea to have it as like a backup, but I'm not getting much use out of it at the moment. It's kind of built too close to these solar panels. Like if I wanted to make a corridor, I couldn't. I'd have to move the entire door. You yeah, know what I mean? Wait, Mal is sleeping on the floor because Josie has not finished making this bed. I really thought I moved the bed. I really thought I did. Okay, there we go. Now, Mal, let's go ahead and set Gil and Mal as the owners. There you go, Mal. Go ahead and go get in bed. There you go. You got a bed. Go sleep in it. Oh, poor Gil. <laughs> there you go. Go sleep with your wife. There you go. All right. So after that's done, we're going to build a few more walls. Like I said, we're going to split the difference here right down the middle. Build a copy of this. There you go. Vent. Put it right there. And then we'll deconstruct these walls. Can I? Oh, I can. I can reinstall the light. Perfect. I'm going to reinstall. I'm not going to destroy you and we're gonna reinstall the light right here right next to the bed just so it can keep you up at night you know uh josie i'm gonna take you off of cook now okay i'm gonna put gil on cook i'm gonna make sure that gil prioritizes cook i'm gonna bump that to one and i'm just gonna take you off of cook or actually i'm gonna move you to cook four construct two there we go get you constructing over cooking you're not a very good cook anyway what is your cook leveled up to? Because you have cooked a little bit. You're cooking three now. You're a terrible cook. Compared to Gil, who is a level six with a passion. Yeah, we should definitely have Gil <laughs> cooking over you. You're going to give everybody food poisoning. It is it is not a good thing. Uh, Josie, you're sleeping right now? You know what? I just realized I have you mining two. I should have you... Yeah, then I'll bump construct to one. I don't want you doing mining over constructing. I want you focusing on construct if I can. All right. There we go. This wind better pick up. Thank you very much. And I'm starting to notice that the wind direction sort of doesn't matter. I put these all facing different directions just in case the wind direction did matter. And maybe it does. I could be completely mistaken, but it doesn't seem to matter. All of these are spinning just fine pointed in every single direction. But, you know, I gotta test these things. You gotta test these things. Oh man, they're gonna be so happy that they have a table to eat at now. They're gonna be so happy. Come on, Josie, make that table. Look at that, our very first table. Can you believe it? Can you believe the day has come that we've actually installed a table? It only took four episodes, but we did it. These people are going to be getting happier by the day. Gil is still just making block after block after block. We're going to put some floor in here. Oh, man. Oh, man. These people are going to be so happy. Oh, and it's the 2nd of April, May. We're into the springtime now. Out of the winter, into the spring. I love it. I am loving it. Okay. Now we can deconstruct this stuff. Let's do that. Deconstruct. Fantastic. I am loving it. Let's move this bed now. Move this, this sleeping spot for my pupper dog. I'm gonna put sleeping spot up here, all right? Gonna move this guy, reinstall 
right there. Look at this. Mal and Gil have such a nice bedroom. Such a lovely bedroom. Uh, we need one more piece of wall right here just to finish off everything. There we go. Now we can start to get some furniture up in these bedrooms, huh? Get a granite dresser. Granite dresser's gonna go... Let's see. Granite dresser's gonna go here. Oh, you know what? I just realized that there's a wire running right down the floor. It's really just, just an eyesore. We're gonna need to get rid of that. Let's put in a couple bed tables now. A couple granite end tables. There we go. We're gonna need a real deal table for you to dine at. There we go. Put a couple of uh, benches down for you. There you go. All right. And how about a, a nice potted plant for you as well? That's nice. Isn't that nice? That's real nice. Let's get some... Actually, no, let's not put you there. That's where we'll put your dresser. Okay, bud? There you go. Dresser right there. We're going to go ahead and put your table where you will eat at. Right here. No, right here. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Uh, do a couple of end tables for you. Boom, boom. I'm not even sure if two end tables are necessary, to be honest. I always put two because two will fit, obviously. Oh, my God. A wanderer just joined. A wanderer named Waka. What? Who is Waka? And what do they do? Masochists, but they're kind and greedy. Okay. Artistic. Crafting. Melee is great. Mining. Animal. Okay. You're not terrible. Greedy kind of sucks. Waka needs a really impressive bedroom. So speaking of bedrooms, uh, I may have to kick Yulian out yet again. Oh, man. We need to build another bedroom now for Waka. Okay. But you know what? It's April, May now. We can send Josie out, build one more bedroom. Oh, poop. Where are we going to build this bedroom? I can build it here, actually. Since we moved the windmill, we have this area here. And if I build a hallway here, maybe I can build another room here. I think that's what we'll do. Because we'll need Waka to get a bedroom. All right, Waka. Well, welcome to the crew. All right. What are you wearing? You've also got a parka and a toque, so that's a good start. Okay, Waka. We're going to need to get you a bedroom. Hmm. You know, for now, I'm going to give you a sleeping spot right next to Yulian, okay? You're just going to get a sleeping spot. And I know you're greedy. I know you're going to hate that. You're going to hate sharing a room with Yulian. But you're just going to need to make it work for now, okay? You're the new guy. Just don't be greedy. I know that that's one of the things that you do, but just don't be greedy, bud. And we'll start to put in orders for the walls and stuff that we're going to need for that. So let's see. If I were to make a hallway here, then I can make a basically like this. And let's see. What's the... Okay, that's it. So I'm going to want to shrink that down just a little bit. And we'll build the wall right up here like so. And then like this. And we'll do like that. There we go. Okay. Waka, go man, go. Waka gonna do some constructing. I love it, I love it, I love it. Get to work, bud. There we go, Waka's fast, look at him go. Waka, just getting stuff done. So happy to be a part of the new colony, I love it. I love this work ethic, man. All right, I'm really glad that we didn't try to rescue somebody because honestly, getting this wanderer, man, I couldn't deal with six people right now. Okay. Uh, we can research something new now. So we just got soil enhancement. We'll play around with that later. I don't have time to like focus on putting down soil just yet. We need to get bedrooms and stuff out of the way. So what should we research next? Um, watermill generator. No, that's not going to do as much good. Microelectronics will open a bunch of stuff here. But before we get to that, maybe we should research smithing and then machining and then we can get to gunsmithing make some guns for our people start to keep them safe you know what i mean all right we're gonna go with smithing that's gonna be the next thing that we research i think that's a pretty good basic thing to research waka has got a minor risk break and that makes sense uh wait okay mal's in a work frenzy fantastic i love it okay where are you going gil gonna go get some stones all right it's negative 21 outside which is actually pretty nice if you consider how cold it's been you know this is a nice springtime. We're going to start getting solar energy now, which is nice. The sun's going to be coming back. 
This is all good stuff. There we go. All this furniture's being built. Hopefully Josie's happy with her room now. You got a pretty nice room, Jos. I'm gonna move your light back to like the center of the room. Just help disperse that light a little bit better. And once Waka's done building this wall, we'll need to insulate this wall. So, eventually I'll want to build a wall here, here, and then we'll need to build a wall whoop, right along here. Low food? Nah, we're doing fine on food. I'm not sweating that. I'm not even sweating that right now. I think we'll be fine. And once we start getting this solar panel, I'll flip these other hydroponic beds on, and then we'll build a geothermal generator, and we'll be in Power Town. Power Town! A psychic soothe. Every colonist of female gender smiles with contentment. Thank you so much, Randy. Oh, blessed be Randy. Good fortune smiling upon us. Couldn't be happier. Ooh, there have been times in the last four episodes, well, three episodes, I guess, that, I mean, it's come close. I thought we were gonna lose people. Shaman merchant, ooh, finally some merchants coming by. You know, times I thought we were gonna lose people. I'm playing on uh, the, the commitment mode, so I can't save and go back. I thought I was gonna make a fool of myself, but everybody survived now, and it looks like we're starting to thrive. What's Josie doing right now, by the way? Jose. Jose is just kind of wandering. Okay. Hopefully, Jose starts to build some stuff here. Oh, look at all these merchants. Okay. I haven't even had a chance to try to sell stuff yet. Who is my best social? Certainly not Gil. Waka? Nope. Nope. Not so much Yulian. Mal? Eh, not really. And Oh, my God. All of these people are pretty terrible when it comes to social, to be quite honest. Mal? You're really smart, though. 16 on intelligence? That's so good. And you're also our most social at four, which is pretty sad. Anybody passionate about being social? Nobody. Okay, Mal. You're going to have to go negotiate for us. Um, oh, you're not allowed outside. Okay. <sighs> going to have to open up your, your, your zone here. Going to have to unrestrict you there, Mal. Go trade you. All right, who's, who's trading here? There we go, Val. Let's go see what these guys got. What do you have to trade? Warg, Warg, Pemmican, uh, no, uh, uh, I always say this word weird. Neutro, Neutroamine. Is that right? Neutroamine. Psychic D, Plasteel, Psychic Shock Lance, Psychic Soothe Pulsar. Okay, so, I mean, really, nothing amazing. Later on, I'll, I'll want to buy, like, all of the Plasteel that people have. But right now, okay, nothing that I desperately need at the moment. I know that you're bummed out, Waka. That's why I'm trying to get you a bedroom built, man. We're working on it, all right? And I'm gonna wanna deconstruct some stuff so that you can... There we go, deconstruct this. And then we'll basically move the double wall along here. So we're gonna deconstruct this, build here, and then we'll build right here and build right here. Make a nice big bed. What's in the cargo pod? What do we got here? Ooh, bird skin. 236 bird skin. Yeah, haul that in. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, Josie's trapped in here. That's not good. So let's deconstruct this. Give Josie an out there. And we'll want to deconstruct these wires as well. There we go. Smithing is finished. What comes after smithing? Machining. That's what comes. There we go. We're going to be researching fast now because Mal is so dang smart. I'm impressed with the intelligence of Mal, to be quite honest. Okay, so we've got this very narrow hallway. I think maybe I'll put the bedroom back here. So maybe I'll slap a door down like that. Do I have enough limestone to build that door? I forgot to switch the doors to uh, granite. And I've been building limestone doors. It's not a big deal, but I just want to make sure that I have enough. Okay, and we're going to need to put down some floors now, too. So we're going to do all granite floors along here. There we go. We're going to want to do some nice floors in the kitchen eventually, too. Probably, like, some steel floors, though. 
keep it clean, you know? I feel like this will be a good room for Waka. Waka, greedy, but a big room like that should impress Waka. We'll need some lights for you, obviously. Gonna want it to be nice and bright in there. There we go, put it right in the middle of the room. So it'll probably take a couple days to get it done. In the meantime, Waka, how you doing? How bummed are you? You're pretty bummed. Negative eight, greedy for impressive bedroom. And mediocre barracks. You've observed a corpse, have you? Where did you observe the corpse? Was it over here? I should probably haul you away, actually. And you know what? Maybe we should start to bury you people, actually. <laughs> why don't we bury you? I don't know why I haven't bothered burying you anyway, but here. Um, grave requires terrain that can support diggable. Is this not diggable? Is it, ooh, I guess it's not diggable. Oh, man. Okay. We need to find some diggable terrain. Hmm. Where am I going to build some graves? Diggable. Is this diggable? I think this may be diggable. Let's see. Miscellaneous. Put some graves down here. No, that's not diggable either. Holy butts. Is it just because it's frozen? It's probably just because it's frozen. All right. Well, in that case, the body shall remain. There you go, Waka. Yeah, move that corpse, bud. And we got some merchants coming in. All right, maybe these merchants have something more worthwhile. Let's go have a talk with Dan there, Mal. Go see what Dan's got. Damn, they've got a bunch of polar bears rolling with them. I can buy some of these polar bears. I don't have enough money to. Do you guys want to buy anything I have? You really don't, do you? Man, it would be amazing to own a polar bear. All right, well, I can't buy them right now. Holy butts. Owning some polar bears? Maybe a polar bear army? Oh my God, could you imagine? It'd be amazing. It'd be friggin' amazing. So what if we made this into a rec room, by the way? Obviously, this is a very tight spot here. Maybe we can do a rec room over here. That could be a good thing, right? We need more light in this place. That thing, that's for certain. The light here and you know we need a light in the hallway as well put a light there just more light in general this is a very dark base at the moment six degrees outside negative six that is impressive that is impressive oh by the way did you guys notice the mod that i got oh yeah it's the fahrenheit celsius mod tracked it down baby it's working all you people who don't use Fahrenheit, which should be everybody except the United States, I believe. <laughs> so the rest of the world, there you go. You don't gotta try to do the math in your head. You know what it means. All right, Walk is cleaning like a, like a fool. Going to clean town, I love it. Uh, let's check everybody else's needs right now, shall we? Let's see, oh, look at that, I love it. Look at this mood. Ah, oh, if Josie's in a good mood, everybody else should be in a real great mood. Oh my goodness. Look at these moods. Yulian, oh, Yulian's kind of bummed. But I think your mood is increasing. Disturbed sleep, yeah. Ratty apparel, okay, we need to do something about that. Mediocre barrack and transhumanist frustrated. I, dude, it's gonna be a while before I can take care of that, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and they're leaving because of dangerous temperatures, I just realized. That makes perfect sense. It's freaking cold out there, guys. Get a move on. It's too cold for you to be just hanging around. Machining is now research, so now we can do gunsmithing. There we go. And I believe that you, or Waka rather, Waka. I think that Waka had some crafting skills, yes. Only level four, but passionate about crafting. So I can actually put Waka on some crafting stuff. Maybe have Waka start to make some guns. Josie is just hauling butt, laying this floor down. So once the floor is laid down up here, I can just go ahead and start putting in furniture and then get Waka, his very own bedroom, and get rid of this bed, finally. Waka should be pretty happy with this large room. This is a pretty big room. And you know what, I'm gonna make you a double bed as well, because I think that you would really love a double bed. So I'm gonna make you a granite double bed. There we go. Just keep you real happy, bud. Put down the, the double bed right there, and let's put down some end tables. Plop, plop. We'll put down a granite pot right there. We're going to give you your very own table at which to eat. There you go. Just in case you ever get a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you can 
significant other. Oh, speaking of, Walkin Josie just did a little bit of flirting. Excuse me. What just happened there? Okay. Look at this. Okay, okay. Mal and Waka chatted about billiards. Waka gabbed about vacations with Mal. Okay. Oh, here we go. Waka flirted with Josie by telling a story about sexuality. Excuse me? Josie gave a minimal response. Waka and Josie had a heartfelt conversation about femininity. Sexuality and femininity? Oh my goodness. Things are getting spicy in here, you guys. Love is in the freaking air. Can you feel the love tonight? Holy moly. Things are happening in this rim world, you guys. Things are happening, and I couldn't be happier. Okay, we need to get a granite dresser in here for you as well. And we're going to do one more potted plant for you too, my man. Back in this corner. There you go. There you go. Now that you got this bed, by the way, I'm going to deconstruct this. Make sure that you are sleeping here. There you go, Waka. My brand new person is getting just the red carpet treatment here. Look at this. Friggin' incredible. I love this, you guys. All right. So we need to figure out our power situation. Oh, speaking of the power situation, we still aren't getting sun, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but next episode, like I said, we can get geothermal power. So we're into spring now. It's significantly warmer now. Waka, our new person, has a bedroom. Everybody has a bedroom. It's kind of awesome. They've got really great bedrooms, as a matter of fact. Oh, you know what I just realized? One thing, one minor thing, is I'm going to want to deconstruct these power lines. I don't want to deconstruct you. Just the power lines, actually. Here, let's cancel all this. I want to make sure that it's just the power lines that we're deconstructing. There we go. Those unsightly power lines. And that's where we're going to call it an end to the episode. Actually, this is going to drive me nuts. That was so close to being finished. There we go. One more thing, Josie. I'm going to keep you up. I'm going to keep you up for one more thing. Just one more thing. There's one tile of floor missing here, Josie. It's going to drive me nuts. It's going to drive me nuts if I end the episode. There we go. Without that being taken care of. There you go, guys. That's where we're going to end the episode. Perfect timing. Mal just researched gunsmithing. What are you guys thinking? I feel like we got a lot done this episode. I feel like we got a lot done. And a lot done quickly, too. Things are starting to fall into place. I feel like I say that at the end of every episode. Do I? But it's true this time. It is true this time. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I am having a great time going back to playing RimWorld. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling like as soon as we get guns, as soon as we get defenses, we really got a set of defenses because I'm sure Randy is going to up the, the, the raid situation on us here soon. Get our defenses under control and we'll be gravy. But until next episode, guys, that is the end of this chapter of RimWorld. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you guys are, be sure to give it a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and come back next time. I'll see you guys then.